Well, everyone, Windows 11 has been out for a couple of years now, and I wanted to kind of hit on for the most part whether this is still worth installing, whether you should go to Windows 10, all those other things. Now, we all know Windows 11 is the most up-to-date, probably the most secure version of a Windows software that you can basically purchase. So if you're in the market, I would recommend just updating your PC. If you have the software support, if you have the ability of doing so, I would... If you have the ability of doing so, I would probably recommend doing this, going through updating that particular software to that particular version of you know, to Windows 11. Now, here's the thing with Windows 11 right now, is that if you're talking about the best version of software, we're going to be talking about the best version of Windows 11 that's available, which is the 2024 update, which just came out. There's a lot of cool improvements within this version. It's the 24H2 version of this particular software. And the big thing to keep in mind with this is that this includes all the versions of Windows from before, but specifically when you're taking a look at this year's version, there's going to be a lot of cool improvements that Windows 11 is going to have that the previous versions of Windows 11 doesn't have. So one of these biggest updates or one of the bigger updates going on within Windows 11 nowadays is that we do have Windows Recall. So this is one of the biggest versions of features that we have within Windows 11 right now. Now what this is, and it's going to be coming out later this year, but basically it's an application that runs in the background and it creates, you know, snapshots of everything you're doing and seeing on your computer. And it's going to allow you to kind of give the capability of your PC of kind of recalling information from things that you've done in the past. So we can recall like documents, they can recall applications, screenshots, web pages, all that stuff. And it's all happening in the background. And it's actually a very, very cool thing. Now, this is going to be something that's going to be coming out later this year, but it still is a very cool feature that we have that type of capability within this particular device, which is insane. Another cool thing that we have within Windows 11 nowadays, on top of all the previous versions of Windows, is Windows Studio Effects. So all the devices that have Copilot Plus, those particular devices are going to have these Windows Studio effects that can actually be applied to your particular microphone and a webcam. And what can happen there, it's going to basically enhance your particular experience on your particular Windows PC. So this is something that's really cool and it's actually going to be compatible system-wide with, with like any camera application that you're going to be using. So this is something that's really cool as well. And you're going to be getting that inside of your Windows 11 PC this particular year as well with this new update. On top of that, you're going to be getting live captions. So this one is a live caption type of feature. So what it does is, you know, Windows 11 now is kind of focused on AI in general. So this is going to allow you to use AI to translate 40 plus different languages from live or pre-recorded audio video into real time. So this is something else that's actually super crazy going on with this, in, you know, within this particular update as well, which again is super cool. On top of that, within Paint, this is so funny. We now have image generation right within Paint with co-creator. So what this allows you to do is within the Paint application, if you want to, you can actually just go ahead and use the built-in Paint application. But now what this is going to do is it's going to have that co-creator option. So what this is going to do now is it's going to allow you to generate images without using a different application right within the Paint application. It's going to allow you to basically just, you know, edit your particular thing right there and create a brand new image. So this is something that's actually very, very funny. I'm like so glad we're getting this type of capability here too, because it is a really, really cool feature. And finally, one of the other types of updates besides all the other apps that have gotten updated is basically Microsoft Copilot. So this one is a more enhanced version of Copilot. It's basically a fully fledged out you know, web application, which means you can go and do basically whatever you want to with it. And like I said, Windows Central did a great job compiling all the new updates in this particular update, which is so cool. So shout out to them in case I forgot to do that before. But for the most part, if you're going to go through and basically, you know, look at Windows 11 today compared to what it was a few years ago, there are massive, massive improvements to this particular version of software. And I would probably argue if you're in the market, Going up to a PC that has Windows 11 is going to be the smarter thing to do, considering how many features have been improved in this version of software. The big thing to keep in mind is that there's always going to be improvements and you're going to want to install the latest version every single time. But if you're comparing Windows 11 against Windows 10, it probably is time to go up to Windows 11. This is going to be the most secure version of Windows. And this is where Microsoft is really focusing all their attention and focusing all their performance is on Windows 11. Windows 10 will still get some security updates here and there, but if I were you, I would probably recommend installing Windows 11 as soon as possible. And I definitely think it's worth installing in 2024. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.